Hey guys, my name is Isaiah Fields, and today we're going to be doing my Week 2 NFL predictions for the 2020 football season. Last week I didn't do this because of course I wasn't here because I wasn't recording videos. So every Wednesday or Tuesday, depending, I might just stick to every Wednesday. Every Wednesday I will be doing my week, whatever week it is, NFL predictions for the 2020 football season. So, before we get to that, though, I have some breaking news and some bad news for New Orleans Saints fans. Michael Thomas, yesterday we talked about his injury in the um, NFL Week 1 recap. We talked about Michael Thomas' high ankle sprain. Uh, he said he was going to play through it, everything was fine, yada, yada, yada. But I just received news about an hour ago that Michael Thomas is not only going to miss the Raiders game, but he's going to miss several other games as well with his high ankle sprain. Um, so it seems as if his injury is worse than what it was um, rumored or said to be yesterday. But anyways, we're going to get to my week two NFL predictions. I do hope you enjoy this video. Okay, starting off Thursday Night Football, the Cincinnati Bengals versus the Cleveland Browns. Um... I do have the Cincinnati Bengals in this one. I have Joe Burrow getting his first win of his career as he didn't win against the Chargers. I have the Cincinnati Bengals 26 to 23 against the Browns. Uh next game, these are the Sunday games, early Sunday games, 325 games. Uh Panthers versus Bucks. That game's going to be easy for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tom Brady will bounce back. His, uh, Mike Evans, I think he'll get going because he was shut down against Marshawn Lattimore. Panthers don't have cornerbacks to shut down these Bucks receivers. I have the Buccaneers winning 40-9 to against the Panthers. Next game. The Miami Dolphins versus the Buffalo Bills. This is my upset of the week. I have the Miami Dolphins. Yes, I have the Miami Dolphins upsetting the Buffalo Bills. 26-20. to That's going to be my upset of the week. Last week, my upset of the week did not go so well. The Steelers, actually this re recently, about two days ago, I picked the Giants to upset the Steelers by one point. Steelers took care of business in Ben Roethlisberger's return. But I do have the Miami Dolphins, again, beating the Bills 26-20. to Next game, the Minnesota Vikings going into Indiana, Indianapolis, playing the Indianapolis Colts. I do have the Indianapolis Colts winning this game 27-17. to And yes, you guys might be saying, wait, didn't the Colts just lose to the Jaguars? A team full of backups, mostly? Other than Gardner. Gardner Minshew had a great game. But yes, I do have the Colts winning. Vikings struggled. Their defense was horrible against Aaron Rodgers. Um, I have the same thing, except I do not have them allowing. I do not have the Vikings allowing the Colts to score 40 points. Again, the final score of my prediction is Colts 27, Vikings 17. Next game, we got the Green Bay Packers and the Minnes We have the Green Bay Packers and the Detroit Lions. It's going to say Minnesota Lions, but no, it's the Detroit Lions. I had the Packers easily winning this game, spanking the Lions 33 to 13. I mean, there's really no argument. This is the Lions. It's, it's just the Lions. I mean, Matthew Stafford, he is back. Matthew Stafford, I'm, do not get me wrong. He is a good quarterback. But the team itself is just not good enough to stop Aaron Rodgers. Next game, Broncos going into Pittsburgh to face the Steelers. I do have the Steelers winning in this one 24-16 against the Broncos. Ben Roethlisberger is going to continue to be Ben Roethlisberger, put up amazing numbers. The Broncos' defense is going to be missing A.J. Boye, as he will miss, I believe, three weeks with an injury. And so Vaughn Miller, who's out for the season with a torn ACL. So the defense um, is going to struggle against the Steelers, I think, and so is the offense. So I had the Steelers 24-16 against the Broncos. Uh, Eagles versus Rams. I think this is going to be a good game. Eagles lost to the, the, you know, the Washington football team. A team name that makes no sense because we already know you're playing football. You don't have to let us know you're playing. We, we already know you're playing football. It's the National Football League, for goodness sake. But I do have the Eagles beating the Rams 28-20. I have Carson Wentz bouncing back against the Rams. Um, 
yeah, I do have the Eagles winning this game. I really, I really am confident about this one. 49ers versus Jets. Uh, George Kittle got injured against the Cardinals. I'm not sure if he's going to be missing the Jets game. I have to check on that. But for now, I mean, it doesn't either way, even if he's going to miss the game. I have the uh, 49ers beating the Jets 27-14. to Sam Darnold did not look good at all against the Bills last week. Had a terrible game. Uh, second half, he kind of got it going, but after that, uh, er, earlier in the game, he was not good. He did not have a good first half. They're also missing Le'Veon Bell, but though Le'Veon Bell has been qu- kind of quiet, Le'Veon Bell has not performed like he used to when he was the Steelers. So I do have the 49ers winning this 27-14. to Next game, my Dallas Cowboys versus the Atlanta Falcons. I do have the Dallas Cowboys winning this one. And before you call me biased, I'm not being biased. I picked the Rams against I picked the Rams to beat the Cowboys last week, so I'm not biased. Definitely not biased with my Cowboys. Promise you that. But I do have the Cowboys beating the Falcons 31 to 20. It's just that the the Cowboys offense is loaded with weapons. They did lose Blake Jarwin, unfortunately lost Leighton Van Der Esch, but they still have Jalen Smith. The safety, the secondary is weak, so our defense is not really the highlight of the team, Jalen Smith, our pass rush is pretty good. But when you get to the cornerbacks and the safeties, it's kind of eh, average or just not good. But I have the Falcons struggling against the Cowboys and the Cowboys pulling off with their first win of the season, 31-20. to Next, I have, next game is the Jaguars versus the Titans. Gardner Minshew. I did not think he was going to perform the way he performed. He only uh, he only missed one pass. 19 for 20, Gardner Minshew was on fire. This game, though, I don't think that's going to happen again. I think the Titans will take this game easily. And I don't think Steven Gostowski will miss four field goals. If that happens again, you just might as well cut him. There's no reason having him on the team if he's going to miss four field goals in two games, two straight games. But I have the Titans winning this one 38-10 against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Next, Chicago Bears versus the New York Football Giants. I do have the Chicago Bears winning this one 31-19 against the Giants. Bears pull off an impressive comeback against the Lions last week, uh, scoring 17 unanswered, if I'm not mistaken. 17 unanswered, if I'm not, yeah. I think it was 17 unanswered to win that game late in the fourth. Next game, we have the good old Washington football team versus the Arizona Cardinals. I have the Arizona Cardinals winning this game 28-18 to against Washington. Chiefs versus Chargers. This is a no-brainer for me. Chiefs are going to win this game easily. They're going to stomp all over the Chargers. I have the Chiefs winning this one 30-13 against the uh, Los Angeles Chargers. Baltimore Ravens versus Houston Texans. On paper, this game is uh, this game is a really good game. On paper, this game you might think uh, oh, this would be a 34-31 or 28-25 or a shootout. I think differently. I think the Ravens will come into Houston and take care of business. I have the Ravens winning 31 to 16. Deshaun Watson is still going to be missing DeAndre Hopkins. His receivers, Will Fuller is a good number one receiver. Uh, Randall Cobb and Brandon Cooks. They're, they're mainly slot receivers. You could put Brandon Cooks at number two, and that really, he won't fit there. You could put Randall Cobb at number two. He won't fit there. They're both made to be slot receivers, not number two receivers. Next game, Sunday night football, a good one. The Seattle Seahawks are going to host the New England Patriots. Uh, Cam Newton had an amazing game on the ground last week. I do think he'll have one rushing touchdown this week. I see him having, let's say... Uh, eight, nine carries for 65 yards and a touchdown. But I do think the Seahawks will prevail and beat the Patriots 29-22. to Final game, and like I said earlier, Michael Thomas will not be playing against the Raiders. I think Drew Brees has got it. He's a Hall of Fame quarterback. Uh, you have Ted Ginn. You have Emmanuel Sanders as well. So those two receivers are really good. You also have Alvin Kamara, who was a beast against the Buccaneers. I do have the Saints winning this game and their defense holding the Raiders to 23 points. I have this game being 28-23, Saints winning.
Well, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If so, don't forget to leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Also, turn on the post notifications so you do not miss a, a video I post. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.